So we know today alone there have been at least four shootings. We just learned that around eight tonight, a security officer shot a man along Maryland Avenue after that man tried to take his gun. The man is OK and is now in custody. But from Friday into today, several people in Baltimore City have lost their lives because of violent crimes. At least five people murdered in less than 48 hours. Not what Baltimore City neighbors want to see happening in their community. We hate this waking up 1230 in the morning or 1230 at night shooting and somebody else. Oh, it's tragic. We don't like that. It's sad. It's just terrible out here. You know, it's, uh, it's almost like a war. Friday morning, four people were shot on West North Avenue. Two of them died. Police are still looking for three suspects they believe are responsible for the shooting and a carjacking shortly after. These exclusive photos captured from surveillance footage appear to show the suspects. People dressed in all black with guns near the scene of the quadruple shooting. Just hours later, police say a juvenile male assaulted and killed a 59 year old man on 1300 block of East Fayette Street. People I think that violence is the answer to everything. It's not true. Violence is not the answer to everything. Early this morning, someone shot a 21-year-old man and a 19-year-old man on East Oliver Street. The 19-year-old died. And this morning, just after 11, someone shot and killed an 18-year-old squeegee worker on Gwynn's Falls Parkway. Police say right now they don't have any reason to believe the shooting had anything to do with his squeegee work or any interaction with a driver. It's actually sad. Don't nobody want to see youthful, elderly people out here getting hurt. It's pointless when we can all be working together and strive for something bigger. Something bigger, something better than five murders in less than 48 hours. Baltimore City neighbors say it's time for change. We all got to work together, not just the quote unquote the law or the mayor. We all got to work together. It's our city, we got to take care of it. Hope and pray uh, for a better day for Baltimore City, state of Maryland, and hope and pray for a better day uh, for, to work, to work. Police say that they also found a man with gunshot wounds on North Mount Street this morning. That victim did survive, but police are asking anyone with information on any of these shootings or on that aggravated assault to call Metro Crime Stoppers at 18667 Lockup. Reporting live outside of Baltimore Police Headquarters, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL TV 11 News.